if there are any uh, things which is uh, uh, which should be uh, very directly linked with the transformative action, it's a um, um, participatory uh, approach. Uh, we have to understand as a city leaders that uh, without contribution for our citizens, uh, we can't change the city. Uh, we can ch we can change a bit you know our attitude as a, as our companies as a transportation uh, system, but finally 80 percent of the effect is on on people who are living in the city. Every of such actions should uh, not only include uh, large scale projects, even in green infrastructure such as planting the trees, uh, because with the planting of trees uh, we could reach uh, a goal when when the public space is going to be green. Uh, but uh, finally, people are not living always in public space, they are always uh, living in private spaces. And these private spaces are s sometimes dominating in our, uh, in our, in our, in our cities. Uh, so it's very important to have uh, citizens on the, some, say, the same side uh, as we are in this, let's say, battle uh, for better living in the cities. Innovations uh, give us an advantage, and that's the uh, that's the most important thing to understand. Um, we are living in the time, in the period of the let's say global uh, development, uh, which is sometimes called Anthropocene. Anthropocene means that uh, it's the first time when uh, uh, when people are making a very huge footprint on the on the on, on the planet, and it's the first time in, in the history when we reach uh, such power as a, as a human beings uh, that we can uh, change really everything in the world. And uh, the problem is that uh, we can also save the world with the same innovations that we uh, provoke to destroy a lot of things. And innovations uh, give us uh, an advantage uh, just to make them cheaper, just to make them easier, just to make them on the uh, big scale. And that's the, uh, that's the role of innovation. Uh, the main challenge for us is uh, how to uh, provoke, how to scale up this innovation. Uh, because every city has their own assets that could be used as an asset for uh, developing, let's say, livable and green cities.